this is effectively an ANOVA that we're calculating here. It's a, a number of the, the, the steps associated with an ANOVA. And let's say we have, instead of using these numbers here, let's just create some numbers. Let's say the force executive, the question let's say that was asked was how much did you spend on lunch? The force executive said five euros followed by six euros, followed by two euros, followed by seven euros. The force manager said eight euros. The second manager, seven euros, five euros and two euros. Four supervisors said two euros, three euros. The, four, the third supervisor, four euros. And the fourth supervisor said seven euros. So here's our observations. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate, first of all, we're going to calculate the overall, the overall mean of the observations. But let's actually just sum up. Let's just sum up these particular columns, first of all. So we have five and six is 11, <coughs> excuse me. And two is 13. And seven is going to give us 20. Uh, we have eight and the two gives us, it gives us 10 and the five and the seven is 12 is going to give us 22 and you can see here that what we have here is and uh, we have 16 here so if we want to calculate the overall group average the overall average yeah so the y bar the total y bar is going to be equal to the sum of all these values so it's going to be 20 plus 22 plus 16 divided by how many values we have uh, which is 12 values and if we do that on the calculator or approximately, well, what have we got here? We have 20, 42, we have 58. So we're going to have 58 divided by, 58 divided by 12 is about 4.8. Let me just check that. 58 divided by 12 is going to give us a value of, it's approximately equal to 4.8. And that's what we're going to use in, in our calculations. Okay? So now what we're going to calculate is we now know the global the global mean value, the average of all the observations. We're going to calculate for each one of the groups their individual mean values. So what we'll have here, let's say, is the individual mean values that we're going to calculate. So here's our, our y bar i is across here. So it's the average of the 20. The summation of this column is 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. 22 divided by 4 is going to give us 5.5. And 16 divided by 4 is going to give us, it's going to give us 4. So now we can actually calculate the sum of squares between groups measure. Okay, so the sum of squares, well, we can calculate them, yes, because we have the individual values. So let's calculate the let's calculate the sum of squares uh, between groups. Excuse me. So the sum of squares between groups is going to be between groups is going to be the sample size. So for each group, we're going to take the sample size. So the first group is four and multiply by its group mean, which is five minus the global mean, which is 4.8, which needs to be squared, plus the next group, sample size is four times its mean value is 5.5, minus the global mean is 4.8 to be squared, plus the final group, size four, times its mean value is four, minus 4.8 to be squared, and this will give us our sum of squares, okay, weighted for each group size, uh, of the between groups measure. So what we end up with here, and uh, I'll just do this uh, on the calculator here. So we end up with, uh, boom, 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 we end up with five minus 4.8. Well, five minus 4.8 is 0 0.2 squared is 0, point, is 0 0.04. So we have four times 0 0.04 is going to give us, well, there we go, 0 0.16 plus we have 5.5 minus 4.8 is going to give us 0 0.7. 0 0.7 squared is 0 0.49. And uh, so then we're going to have 0 0.49 multiplied by 4. It's going to give us a value of about 1.96. Brilliant. Uh, and then what we got here, we have 4 minus 4.8 gives us 0. Minus 0 0.8. And minus 0 0.8 squared is 0 0.64. So 0 0.64 multiplied by 4 is going to give us a value of it's about 2.56, okay? So our sum of squares between groups measure, sum of squares between groups measure is the sum of all of these things here. So 0 0.16 plus 1.96 plus 2.56, which gives us a value of uh, 4.68. And this is an important measure because this is gonna be the numerator in the calculation of A test. So I'll just put a blue box around here to say that that's important for us, okay? Uh, so we've just done the sum of squares between groups. To calculate the total sum of squares, we need the between group and the within group measure. So we're going to now measure the sums as if we were just doing a variance on each group. Okay? You can see it's the observations minus their own mean value. We're going to do each one of those for, for each particular group. 
So we'll just say that what we have here is the squares for the group E, we have the squares for group M, and we have the squares for group for group S. I know that looks like some of squares, but it's actually just our squares. So for each observation, we're going to take away the mean value and we're going to square it, if that makes sense. So now we have five minus five gives us, well, five minus five gives us zero, zero squared gives us zero, okay? So we have six minus five gives us one, one squared gives us one, two minus five gives us three, three, well, this is minus three, minus three squared is going to give us nine, okay? Seven minus five gives us two, two squared gives us four. Now, for the group M, once again, we're going to calculate how far each observation is away from their own mean. So we have eight minus five point, excuse me. So we have eight minus 5.5 is going to give us a uh, 3.5, sorry, it's going to give us 2.5. And then we have 2.5, which needs to be squared. Uh, so 2.5 to be squared.